stand in one place. Here's your little feet here. And sort of lean out a little bit. You walk there from a, a path, right? And, and, and reach around you like that. And that's your garden. You uh, cover uh, 12 square metres. So where you can reach from standing in one place uh, is 12 square metres. Works out about the same every time. Maybe if you're small, you need two of them. Well, why don't you put another one opposite that one? That being your path. Now those gardens are the least path for the greatest production bed. If you can get path down less than that, let us know. The other thing about, this is about six feet across, maybe a little larger. So a single sprinkler can cover all of that. Uh, so you can water the whole garden from that point. If you don't have a sprinkler, you can hand water it by hose easily. And if you don't have that, you have to sink unglazed earthenware pots in it and keep them full of water. So you fill those with water, put a little flat stone on top and refill them every four or five days. And that is the most economical way to water a garden if you're really up against it, you know. You take all your gargling water and everything out and put it in those little pots and it weeps out and grows an area about three feet across. So it'll water these on its own. Now you paper that all over with newspaper because we're in America. If we're in India, we do it with banana leaves. And you uh, throw straw on top, which we do everywhere around the world because we go and cut it. And you plant it with a bucket of soil. which you got from a nice place, so it's nice uh, soil. You scraped it up on the forest floor or dug it out of a pigsty or something. And, uh, and you make three or four things on here. You, there's your straw or your, or your dry banana leaf, whatever. There's your newspaper, overlapped, so there's never any more weeds. And here's your planting things. One is a uh, lens about three inches thick in the middle uh, of, of good soil and on that you sprinkle fine seeds. So that's a patch of carrots or radishes or something. How big is that? Three inches? Thick in the middle, about 15 inches across. So you make as many little patches of fine seeds as you like. You know. And then another one is you push your hand down and force a little hole open and leave a handful of soil in it and in that you plant your seedlings and your large seeds like beans. Right, now for, for root crops and things, you put them down on top of the newspaper, but you stick a, a spike down and punch a hole in the newspaper, and then, then, then you put your potatoes down the bottom there, and your uh, Jerusalem artichokes and your, and your tubers. Pardon? That's about four or five leaves thick. You know, New York Times gives you several square metres. It weighs 12 pounds and you use four pages thick. And you wet it down. You never repeat the newspaper bit. Uh, you, then a good idea is to newspaper your uh, little standing spot and put sawdust, thick sawdust on top. Now, so the garden is weed free you haven't put a lot of effort in. If you had your bucket of soil ready and your uh, about three and a half to four bales of straw and your seeds and tubers and that, from go to woe is 40 minutes. Done it hundreds of times. And if you're going on a plan, you know, and you plant it in spring, that's your next six months dealt with and you plant again uh, 
late summer to early autumn. So you do it twice a year, you plant it. <coughs> no, you don't have to put any worms in. If there's a worm within five miles, you get it. <laughs> it's like most things, you don't actually have to cart them there. You have to make a place for them to be if they get there. And the worms get there. I think worms love uh, New York Times best of all. Although Dr. Zeus, wow. I used Dr. Zeus once and they just, they were there within hours, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, I, it doesn't much matter. Nine or twelve inches. If you want to really kick it in, you can use loose and hay, which is expensive, right? It costs you $30 to do that with loose and hay. And that is very high protein, and your garden is immensely successful. Yeah, loosen, yeah, alfalfa. But mostly you can't do that. So you put, maybe put a book or two of alfalfa around the bottom and just put ordinary old straw on. So you've done it and planted it, and out you hop. And then if, if you're going to forget to water it, invest $60 in an automatic single outlet watering machine and tell it to water it every night and, and just go out and pick it after that. So we put about 12 of these a day in, in our regional backyards. Um, that, that's with lots of cups of tea and laughing and dirty jokes and everything. So we set them up for six months uh, fresh food uh, with that. That doesn't matter if that's on concrete. So if it's on concrete, put three or four inches more hay. Uh, it doesn't worry the carrots or anything else. Let's come down and go down full length in the hay. So, and if, and if these are good things, those. So if you have people in wheelchairs, we, we give them two of these so you can come down the wheelchair and attend your garden. And just do the same. You put the newspaper on here and then you loosen hay and then two bricks or three bricks and, and then fill it up with hay and and just hand them their seeds in their bucket of soil and away they go. But but old people in wheelchairs say two two tables produce too much food for them. So uh, they don't they say really one table is plenty. Now are you telling me this soil underneath this at all? No, no. We we didn't we didn't do any heavy work. Uh, <laughs> and we if we don't plant weeds, we never get weeds either. So there's no weeding and no tilling, no digging. And, uh, and the crop, crops and the worms together uh, work it down to soil in three years. So you've got to do a remulch. I spend 40 minutes every three years to fly yourself with food. Gardening, end of gardening. <laughs> <laughs> Although that sounds a bit careless, it's the result of an awful lot of trial and work to get that recipe right. The first